opportunity tonight to welcome you to our evening concert and I'd just like to take a moment right now to recognize all of our teachers and students who participated in the stroll across America. I hope that you enjoyed going down to the classrooms and seeing how hard our students were working and looking at the United States and in, uh, in a different way of more than just a state and a capital but looking at how different groups in America, whether it's the Navajo Indians, or it's the Cape Verdean population that have settled in certain areas, or it's the Dutch and the Spanish have made an impact on our country. There are some teachers that have come tonight, and I'd just like to thank them for, uh, for being here and, and speaking with you and showing their, uh, their classroom exhibits. And, and Ms. Roy, Ms. Reed, Mrs. Renickus, Mrs. Kaufman, Mrs. Proust, Ms. Siegel, Mrs. Hopkins, Mrs. Woodward, Ms. Hay, Ms. Brown, and Ms. Clovrius, thank you very much for being here tonight. Let's give them a round of applause for all of their work throughout the year. Not just one night. I'd also like to thank a, uh, a distinguished dignitary that you might remember that's in our audience tonight, Mrs. Johnson, our former reading teacher, who's here to check up on us. We are welcome tonight, and we thank you for coming. And now, on with the show. Chorus is proud to welcome you to our annual spring concert. As usual, we have been working diligently under the direction of Miss St. Pierre and our fine accompanist, Miss Calabrias, to prepare a variety of songs for you that we hope you will enjoy. You may notice that our concert this year has a special theme to it. In keeping with our school-wide study of the regions and cultures of the United States of America, 
Our music today is all from the musical history of America. Our first song called Blue Waters of the North, arranged by Phyllis and Little Wolf, has melodies in it that were first sung by Native North Americans who lived here long before travelers from other parts of the world decided to move here. People from Africa were brought to America to work as slaves on farms in the southeastern states. With them came a wonderfully rich culture of music and dance. Our next song, arranged by Dave and Jean Perry, called Dancing Nakuyimba, is an example of the type of music that traveled from, America, from Africa to America in our country's early days. Dancing Nakuyimba means to dance and sing in Swahili, the native language of, man, of many African community, communities.
song, Cancer Stone, is arranged by Ruth Artman. It is an example of the type of song that was sung by many of our early Afri African-American settlers. This special type of song is called a spiritual because it seemed to lift the spirits of its singers when work seemed hard or when the times were difficult to bear. possible to hear many different styles of music. 
all American in nature. In Louisiana, for example, jazz is very popular. California is well known for recording rock music. Texas and Tennessee have become famous for their own styles of country music. New York has become a center show, a center for show music, and so on. Wherever you go, though, you will find some music that is known by most people, no matter what their background, called folk music. See if in our next medley of songs called The American Folk Rap City by Linda Spevacek, you can recognize any of the songs that you hear.
believe that the traditions of many years are what make countries, cities, schools, and families great. Because of this, we would like to close our prayer program with a song that had, has become a tradition with our chorus here at the Davis called A Round of Goodbyes by Frederick Silva. With it, we would like to extend our special thanks to you for being such a great audience and our own, and our own wish for a safe and happy summer. Stand up for a minute. Let's give them a round of applause also. Come on, step out of here. Don't be shy. I've never known the two of you to be shy before. All right, Mrs. Humphreys, step out here too. Stand up by that jukebox, Mrs. Humphreys. A lot of work and a lot of time. Thank you. Your children are wonderful. They really, really are. They have a lot of teamwork, a lot of effort. Let's give them another round of applause. They're great kids. I'd like to recognize and thank very much Mrs. Cologris, our accompanist, who puts in many long hours. And she just didn't read that music the first time. The moving force behind all of this, the person that we love and admire, and thanks so much for all that she's done. And you can see that these students are in the palm of her hand, and that's what this was all about tonight, is hands across America, cooperation and working together, and we couldn't be the school that we are without Miss St. Pierre. Mr. Shea and Mrs. Hopkins and the administration and myself, thank everybody for being here tonight. It's, it's nice to see you in the evening also. I know for some of you it's a, a difficult work schedule and to try to get to a 9.30 or a 1.30 and uh, we're very honored that, uh, that you could be here with us. It's very special to your children. 
and uh, we're glad that, uh, that you were here. So let's give your parents a round of applause. They deserve a lot, too. There are a couple of thanks and thank yous that I left that were left out. Uh, in order for something like this to happen, it takes a huge amount of effort from not just the kids and not just me or Mrs. Colobrius. It takes a huge amount of effort from the teachers that are involved with dealing with the kids who aren't in course, the, the, with allowing work to go on and things to continue. So I'd like a special thanks for the fifth and sixth grade teachers and any other teacher that happens to be here because we love you too. Thank you.